Welcome to Registration 101, part two. Today, we're going to talk about stallions. We okay, let's start. I have some questions about the post I just saw online. So can you please explain to me what is activation and what is it for? So we require our stallions to activate um, for numerous reasons. Um, we like for the stallion owners to send breeding reports. Um, we need to know all of the stallions information, their full pedigrees, um, especially since we have the affiliate stallions that are stallions with approved with Urkin registries, but are, aren't KWPN. Um, and a lot of times we may have to go to those registries and get all of their information, their DNA profile. Um, and when the stallion is activated with us and we receive breeding reports, it allows us to have the information before the mare owners come to us to wanna to register their foal. Um, and it can speed up the registration process because we're not going and having to look for that DNA profile or the stallion's pedigree or any of that. So having them activated just allows us to be a little bit more prepared um, when it comes time for the mare owners to register their foals. Activation is also a really great opportunity for advertisement for the stallion owner. Um, so it's a yearly fee that the stallion owner pays to basically advertise their stallion with us, as well as not have the mare owner pay an extra fee when they go to register their foal. Um, the stallions typically get both in the uh, stallion roster, which is a printed out, you know, really nice um, directory that we send out. And then also um, they get a full page on the website complete with videos, sport results, anything that a mare owner would want to know. And of course, if you don't activate your stallion, you don't get any of that. So that's also a perk to activating. Can you maybe show me what that looks like? Sure. So this is an example of our printed directory and what a stallion page is going to look like. Um, in the directory, we're able to do full color. Um, it's going to have the stallion's name, that they're approved, their pedigree, um, all of their important details, their information, sport, um, sport records, any offspring and how they're doing. And this is all the information that the stallion owners would provide us. Um, and that just makes it a lot easier for the people to go to this directory and look up and when they're looking at what stallions they might want to breed to. So as Drew mentioned, it's um, in the scheme of things, it's pretty inexpensive advertising. So not only do you get the printed handbook as we were showing before and all of that, but we also have our online directory, um, which you'll find on our webpage. And you just go to stallion directory. And this is a really nice, has good search options. You can do all stallions, break it down by the different type, what's available frozen, fresh cooled, if the stallions have certain predicates, you have preference, um, ones that might be licensed with the KWPNNA. We have full book stallions, um, and then obviously the ones that are approved, and then the affiliate stallion. Um, so if you just go and you search, these are going to be the KWPN approved stallions that are activated with us. Um, so here you can see um, they get a full, um, full page on the online directory. Oh yeah, that looks super nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then and if um, you scroll over, there's videos the video. as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's also a great point of contact for people. You know, people who may not be so savvy to like go out and search the internet for the contacts for these stallions. It gives kind of a central point. Um, for your contact information, and it makes it really easy for mare owners to contact you about your stallion. Um, yeah. It's also great for young stallions who maybe don't have um, as much advertising out there, or maybe it's their first year breeding. Um, it gives a, just a really nice platform to um, promote a young stallion or a newly imported stallion, and especially for those affiliate stallions that may not be known to KWPN mare owners yet. Um, we've had quite a few over the last two years since we started the affiliate stallion program um, that are now being used and having folds registered that had never had folds registered with us before. So um, it, it's turning out to be a really great program.
Yeah, it looks very nice. So these, like I said, just scrolling through here, you can kind of see all of the information that's available and the stallion owners that activate with us and advertise, they can give as much or as little information as they would like. Um, you have sport results in North America, sport results in Europe, and then international. Um, and then they have offspring sport results. So it's got some really good information on there. And we try to have people go to the online directory to look. It's just a really good tool. And when you can use the drop down, like if you have a mare that maybe doesn't take well to um, frozen and you just really need fresh or chilled, you can do that drop down that I mentioned at the top and just look at the stallions that are um, available fresh and cool. So oh, there's yeah. different ways to search. Um, the okay. online directory is also going to be the most up-to-date information as we can change it throughout the year. If a stallion has switched brokers or um, whatever it may be, a, a stallion like Atlete who was recently imported, you know, the, the information may have changed since we put out the directory. So we try to keep the online stuff as up-to-date as we can. So you can send in new pictures, videos, information, whatever you want, like throughout the whole year that you activated your stallion for. Absolutely. Correct. And that's and, um, so it's 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 a really and again we'll when we go through the forms we'll discuss fees and all of that but in the scheme of things it's it's fairly inexpensive advertising especially with you also get a membership included with the activation so when you take that eighty five dollars off of there um, it's it's very economical um, yeah. yeah you have a year full of promotion basically for like. Yeah, a couple of hundred dollars. There are also certain times throughout the year where we'll promote uh, individual stallions on our Facebook page. Um, okay, so can you girls maybe show me how I can activate? Like, what are the forms? What do they look like? What do I do? So we have three different forms. We'll start with the approved stallion form. So this is going to be for your KWPN approved stallions um, individually or can stallions um and stallions that are kwpn by birth but approved with an urken stud book as well right um and some people a lot of people ask what is urken um i believe the appropriate word is recognized or um accepted accepted and so any of those are going to be the major warm blood registries hanoverian oldenburg um Technically, it's any registry that's a full member with the WBFSH, which we discussed last time, it's the World Breeding Federation of Sport Horses. Um, there are a few registries that have, um, we kind of look at on a case-by-case -case basis, but for the most part, any stallion approved with an Urkin registry or approved with the KWPN, this is the form they're gonna use. What is um, the difference between this form and the affiliate stallion form then? So the affiliate stallion, Pro, um, form is for stallions that um, are not KWPN by birth. Oh, okay. So That's an actual the difference. Hanoverian yeah. stallion approved Hanoverian or an okay. Oldenburg approved Hanoverian. Those are going to be our affiliate stallions because they're okay. not actually KWPN. They're you not can KWPN. Have, there are KWPN full book stallions, um, like they're, so they're in our book, they're full book, but they're approved with another registry. So they use that approved stallion form, whereas the affiliate stallion are not KWPN by birth. Okay, so um, if a stallion is licensed with the KWPN NA, does he still have to activate? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, before we started the affiliate program, and it's kind of what led to it, any stallion that was approved or licensed with the KWPN or KWPN of North America had to uh, activate with us. And it's kind of what led to the affiliate program. It didn't seem quite fair that an approved or licensed KWPN NAI stallion had to activate with us, but any other stallion with another registry didn't. It was kind of imbalanced to me. Um, so that's kind of what led to the affiliate stallion program. Um, and I had stallion owners of, of these affiliate stallions that wanted to activate with us. They wanted the advertisement. And we didn't want to take away from any Dutch stallion um, 
but that's why it was determined that we would give them a page on the website, but affiliate stallions do not get put print in our printed handbook. Okay. Um, so it kind of keeps them a little bit separate and we don't feel that we're taking away from our approved Dutch stallions, but they still get an option because we get a lot of registries of these outside stallions. We now look at the form and like what we need to fill in exactly. Sure, so I'll go back to the approved stallion application. So I've made them all text fillable to make it as easy as possible. And on the request of some of our stallion owners that activate with us each individual year, so they don't have to go through all of the information on here, they can just mark no changes. It's just a checkbox. Obviously you're still gonna wanna put your stallion's name, their registration number. Um, but if it's a new, a new stallion that's um, activating with us, this is what all they'll fill in. You've got your sports results, both national and international, offspring results, national and international. We ask that they list what their stud, stud fee is, if they have a booking fee, or if the booking fee is actually included in that stud book. Um, here's where they marked if they ship it, if it's fresh or frozen. And then if they have any specific terms that are in their contract, because we all know that each stallion's contracts can be different. Um, here is where they can check if they want to participate in our stallion service auction. Um, we have set the dates for 2022, which will be February 12th through February 20th. The uh, best thing for the stallion owners is if they participate in the stallion service auction, the following year when they activate with us, they're going to get a 50% discount off of this activation. So, and again, I mentioned that they get the membership. So if you have a stallion that you've activated Last year, this coming year, your stallion activation um, is gonna be $150. With that, you're gonna get your membership for that year. You're going to get the advertisement. If it's an approved stallion, you're gonna get in our handbook as well as in the online directory. Um, also, when they participate in the stallion service auction, we tend to, we'll put those out on social media, whether we do it as Stallion Saturday um, and do weekly publications where we're, we're advertising those since, since they're participating in our auction. Um, this is some people may not want their stallion in the printed directory. They just have a checkbox for yes or no there. Um, here it shows the fee of $300. Um, we're trying to get our printed handbook out as early as possible. So we made the cutoff date November 15th. That will give our designers enough time to get all of the pages built get it in there, get it printed at the end of the year so that it's actually out for shipping as early as possible in January when people are making their breeding decisions for the coming year. Um, then you just go here. This is kind of just where you're agreeing to our rules and regulations. Um, they just check all these. Then they'll enter this, where the stallion is standing, who the best contact person, um, if the owner of record is different, if the stallion has a broker, I mean, then the signature down here, and then the payment option. You can either ask us to invoice you through QuickBooks Online or include your credit card information down here, or you can always mail in a check. We do not um, have full book stallions in the stallion service auction because as a, just a full book stallion, that's KWPN, if they're not approved with any other registry, they obviously can breed and a lot of people do breed to them, but their offspring will be register B. So we don't offer those in the stallion service auction. Their registration fee is 250, it's a little less. They don't get a page in the handbook, but they get a list in the handbook of which public stallions are activated. And then same here, where they're standing, who the contact information, who the owner of record is, and then how to go through payment. And do, and the, full books, do the full book stallions get a page in on the website? No, not, not if right? you're just a full book stallion with no yeah. other approvals. Okay. Right? Um, but there are people who bred to plenty of full book stallions that aren't approved anywhere. Obviously, I think probably most of them are wanting to pre present them at some point in time. Maybe um, if they are a full book stallion that go on to approval with KWPN or with another registry, their offspring will move up. So if you've bred to a full book stallion in the past and you have a register B offspring, if and when that stallion is approved um, with any of the major warm blood registries, once we know about it, 
um, we can go and upgrade any of that stallion's offsprings and they'll move up to register A or full book just depending on where that approval took place. Um, and then the affiliate stallion, everything's pretty much the same. Um, one thing with the affiliate stallion, I don't necessarily put the cutoff on there because they can activate with us at any time since they're only going on the website because yeah. we can add a stallion to our website whenever we want. Um, so there's no real deadline. Obviously, you're going to want to get your stallion on there as early as possible when people are looking around beginning either late in the year, or early in the year to make their breeding decisions. Um, same there at the bottom. So all of these are available on our website. Uh, and I'll show you where you can find those. Okay. So when you're on our website, you can always go to forms um, and you'll go down to stallions. And you've got um, your license or approved stallion active form, the full book stallion activation form, the affiliate stallion activation form. Um, one thing when a stallion owner does activate with, with us, we do ask them to turn in a report of mares bred or a breeding report. Um, one thing that is really good with this, um, a lot of people record their own breedings because there's so many stallions out there. We have them fill out that semen insemination report that we discussed in our previous video. Um, if a stallion is activated with us and we have a breeding report, if somebody is, reports a breeding that we don't see on this breeding report, if we have it, we're going to check with that stallion owner and make sure that everything is okay. That's kind of a little extra step that we'll do for stallion owners when they activate with us. Okay. Um, and this is also, um, this can only be done or should only be done by the stallion owners um, and turn this into us. It's usually due by, when is the cut, when, whenever we ask for these. I mean, I usually like to have them kind of by the end of the year. That way I can enter all the breedings at the same time and they're all ready to go for those mare owners starting January 1st. That's, that's usually when we like to have them in. Okay, so if you have your stallion licensed uh, in September, for example, at the curing, <clears throat> um, you still have to activate it again before the 15th of November for the coming yeah. year, right? Or is that Correct. all included in the licensing process? No, no, it is, it's separate. So if they reach a, a license status in September, that November, you're going to want to activate them for the next year. And again, I mean, I, I really feel like for, for what you pay, um, yeah. it's, it's really not much. And especially so if you activate them the first year and then the following year, you get that 50% discount. We usually try to send out, um, a thank you card to the stallion owners that donated to the stallion service auction and we also print off a little 50 percent certificate if you will that they would turn in with that activation the next year obviously we have a record of who activated and make sure that they get that 50 percent discount so um, with, with the membership included online and or printed advertisement but the 50 percent discount you only get that when you do the stallion service auction right correct if you do not donate to the stallion service auction you're going to pay the full activation fee the following year can you quickly to round up this video session one more time tell me more about the um, stallion service auction so when is it going to run and what exactly happens and so we now uh run the service auction ourselves through 32 auctions mm -hmm. um it's been a We've done it for the last two years. It's been very successful for us. Um, our stallion committee has worked really hard and gotten a lot of stallions. I think we had well over 50 stallions last year. Um, we had some of the highest um, earnings from that stallion service auction. And these proceeds go to fund awards programs, educational programs, um, just different things like that. And now this year, which some of you may have seen, we had the virtual full futurity. It would have been a obviously in person had we been able to have our currings. Um, with this new futurity, we took seven thousand dollars from the earnings of our stallion service auction and earmarked that for the futurity. And then any entries um, that that did have to pay the fee was was tacked on to how we determine what we paid out this year. If 
your offspring sire participated in the stallion service auction for the futurity for the following year at the occurring, there is no entry fee for that. Um, if the stallion did not participate, you can still obviously enter the cur uh, the futurity, but there's a, in person, it was gonna be $35 entry fee for the futurity where we just did the virtual futurity this year, where it was $25. Um, there's also an award for the highest place full that resulted in um, a bid from the stallion service. Yeah, it's a three hundred dollar so. award. So if you have a foal that resulted in the, in a breeding that you purchased from the stallion service auction, and you took your foal the following year to an inspection, the highest scoring foal at the inspection that resulted from a breeding from the stallion service auction, it's a three hundred dollar award. Um, Sadly, I think for the last year uh, that we had in so 2019, there were no foals that resulted from a breeding from the stallion service auction that went to occurring. So no one got it. The year before it was a foal of Judy Reggio's and that's $300. Um, I think the highest, the foal from the highest earning breeding from the stallion service auction gets a free foal registration the following year. And there's also a lot of promotion with the stallion service auction because I saw that all the stallions got promoted multiple times online and social media yes. and the website. Yeah, all that extra. is. Yeah. Is, uh, did we tackle everything about the stallions, you think? I think so, yeah. Okay, thank you girls for giving us all this inf information about the stallions activating affiliate, the, all the programs that we have for KWPN North America. Um, if you have any more additional questions about this topic, please send an email to office at kwpnna.org or send us a message through Facebook. Thank you very much, girls.